Good morning, everybody. This is Marius Landman here from Brisbane, Australia, where we do a technical analysis for our members all across the world. This is a quick Bitcoin update. I'm going to get into Ethereum quickly as well, only two or three minutes to give you an idea of where we are standing and what you need to look for. On update number 191.1, I posted on 19 April 2020 and said that we are still on track. Give Bitcoin time to break out upwards and then keep your stop loss at 6,500, meaning that if Bitcoin were to break down to that level of 6,500, we get out, you sell a percentage, and you buy the dip. In this chart that I posted, I also gave you this green line here, and I said that in this green line, we are going to have a drop here. In that drop, that is the buy zone. And I constantly say, don't look at the numbers, look at the pattern, look at the drop. Because our mathematical equation works out what is going to happen in the market long before it happens. It's a remarkable system that can foresee kind of like looking in the future what's going to happen with Bitcoin. Then we see this drop coming and then it's going to go up and then break out to 7899. That is still 100% intact. Now what has happened here is that we knew that the oil price is going to drop below $9. Recall back about three weeks ago I said that oil is going to go below $9 and nobody in the world thought that is even possible. What happened with oil? Oil actually went and dropped below $9 and then spiked down to, to zero and then came back up and today it's just trading above $9. We could see it go up to $21. That is the oil price that the companies that sell oil, sell oil for. You will never ever find a contractual agreement where oil is sold for less than $21, regardless of the price. I work in the oil and gas industry. I've seen these uh, contracts. As a matter of fact, the drop in oil price doesn't affect the oil and gas companies much. Because contractual, Shell, for example, has already got contracts in place where companies would buy oil at a certain price regardless of a drop. We saw that drop happening. Now, what happens after this drop? Look here. My data shows that we are going to go up. It's going to go sideways. And then comes a big break to 7899. You're going to see coins like Ethereum, Litecoin, Bitcoin Cash spike upwards like enormously. And altcoins are going to break out. Guys, be on the alert. Let's go back and have a look and see what happened with Bitcoin at that point. Here you can see there is that green chart. See here that green pattern that I showed you. We were there and then we said that come here at this point, we are going to have this drop. And look what happened. The market dropped right there. Regardless of the price, remember, I always say, don't necessarily look at the price and the date. Look at the pattern. In this case, we said there's going to be a drop. So you, you don't need to fear. And thank you. All our members across the world, you were warned. And people took action. As soon as that drop happened, I've got so many emails of people that just bought the dip. Guys, this is what we do. We buy the dip. We sell the spike. And I'm going to give you a hint away later in this video where I see the high price for Ethereum. Anyway, so we've got this dip here and see what happens here. It's going to go sideways and then break out. Now, what you see here on the bottom, let me just quickly circle this for you. That that you see there, right there, is actually what's occurring up here. So this break upwards here is going to be a lot more violent and fast. Now, if it's not violent and fast and if you don't have a big spike, it doesn't matter, guys. The price is going to 7899. That is a mathematical equation that must occur. Now, if it doesn't hit 7899 and it only hits 7799, don't go and hit me on the fingers. The point is, guys, that I see in my mathematical data, I see a rise in price coming, not downside. But still, be careful. Keep your stop loss at 6500. In this volatile market, anything can happen. Let's go to Ethereum. And I'm going to give you a hint with regard to Ethereum. If you look at Ethereum, similar to that of Bitcoin, it also went and dropped downwards here to that level there. Now that level there is similar to that of Bitcoin that I just showed you before. What happens then? It creates a bit of a wedge here and then comes a nice big spike. Now have a look. If you are invested in Ethereum, what I want you to do, let me just clear that screen here, is to look at this pattern. Again, guys, look at the pattern, the pattern. We are now here at number one. Number one is complete. Number two is dropping down to this level. We are now set up to break out upwards. If you look at that time frame, it could happen in 12 hours. It could happen in one day. Okay, so it could happen in two days. The point is we are going to hit this number three. 
At point number three, the spike, it's going to drop back to this level here of about 198. I expect this to be about just over 200. The price that I give you is only an estimation. I can't exactly say that's going to be the target. Point is we're going to have a strong move. Then you look at a drop here into point four. Then number six, now here is the key. Point number three and number six should be equal in height especially if you look at the hour chart. Then it's going to have a bit of a drop and then spike into seven. Point number seven, in my opinion, could be about 220. Again, this is just an estimation. We're going to look at the pattern. Then we're going to have a drop. And then, guys, it's going to make a bit of a loop. Uh, see that little bit of a loop here where it's going to drop downwards, sideways, and then go back up again. So you are in good hands, guys. Once we have this pattern, see this pattern here of Ethereum, specifically Ethereum. Bitcoin is going to do a little bit of a different pattern in terms of mathematical equations. Once we have that pattern in Ethereum, we're going to do a new report and show you what comes next. I urge you to follow report 191. You've seen the Apple algorithmic data that I've given you. You've seen the price targets. Just sit back, relax, take things with a calm mind. The market is volatile, but our members all across the world, we know where the market is going to go. Think about this, guys. There are millions and millions of people that are trading in the dark. They don't know what's going to happen. Think about the value of this data. This is kind of like a picture in the future, what is going to happen with Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. Long term, long term, not right now, maybe in the last quarter of this year, guys, we are going to see a massive break in Bitcoin. If it's not the last quarter of this year, it's going to be in the first quarter of next year. The world stock markets is going to make a turnaround and then go back up. I'm the only one in the world that is saying this right now is because in my data, I'm seeing a huge break in the world stock markets. The American economy is going to explode. It's going to drastically increase in price. From now till November at the American election, be prepared to see some volatility in the world stock markets. After that, you're going to see that America is going to rebuild their roads, infrastructure, the money is going to pour into America from all around the world. As people in Europe, Africa, Asia, move their money out of those areas and move it into America. America essentially is going to become the hub where money will flow into. The American dollar will be very strong. People in America are going to make a lot of money. People will be begging to employ people because there won't be enough people to take all the jobs. And I've warned you guys, I've warned you, I said that the housing industry all across the world is going to explode and become unaffordable without giving you financial advice. Create a consortium, buy farmland, which has got water, very important. Farmland is going to get 10 times more expensive than what it is now. If you think a house in Australia at a million dollars is expensive. It's going to go to 1.5 and 2 million. If you think in America that a house of 350,000 in Texas is expensive, it's going to double in value. Your assets is your property, your house, your land. Hold it. Don't sell it in this economy. Do everything possible to hold it. Get into silver, get into gold. And I'm going to make a blanket statement here, guys. This is not financial advice. I'm telling you what I would do training and education okay so be on the webinars make sure you understand what is happening in the world economy everything that we saw two three years ago is coming to fruition i've told you where bitcoin is going to go bitcoin ultimately is going to go to eighty nine thousand dollars and then to three hundred and fifty thousand dollars don't focus too much on the eye targets look at where bitcoin is now focus on the now focus on how you can make money right now but guys <laughs> the main important thing that I can give you here is close your eyes and imagine where Bitcoin is going to go. Imagine where you are going to go in life. You are going to go forward. You, are, you see prosperity. You see increase. Remember what I said. The year 2020 is going to end with one word. It's, that one word is called increase. Many people see doom and gloom all around the world. We, our members all across the world, we see prosperity, we see increase, we see opportunities, 
We don't buy into a narrative of fear and destruction, doom and gloom. Move those words out of your vocabulary. Don't even think about it. Don't even say it. But be objective. Trade objective. Think about your situation now. Be in that positive mindset. And don't buy into this fear of coronavirus and all these things happening around you. The world is going to be a better place. I tell you, what I see in my data, guys, is unbelievable what is going to happen in the next four years. The media ha will have no other way, no other option to report the good news in America, to report a great economy. The economy in America is going to boom and it's going to kick off into Australia, into New Zealand. Things will get better. If you live in South Africa, you must move your money into US dollar. It's going to get stronger. The rand is going to get weaker. You want to move into Bitcoin, gold, silver. Oh my gosh, guys, silver. You have to get silver. Silver will explode in price. Don't be caught out off guard when silver unexpectedly, out of nowhere, anytime in the next year or two, triples in value. It may be $20. You wake up the next morning, it's $100. It will become a triple digit figure and it will never ever come back guys. You've been warned, get silver. There are three things and Robert Kiyosaki mentions this too. He talks about gold, he talks about silver and he talks about Bitcoin. Now remember, Robert Kiyosaki was very negative on Bitcoin. I don't want to mention too much about him, but I told you guys that there are two or three billionaires who have got our memberships and guys he's converted he understands bitcoin do what the rich people do for goodness sake guys okay this is the end of the video uh, let's see what's going to happen with bitcoin guys have a fantastic day always remember you are a blessed person and be positive positive mindset make things happen in your life don't wait for things to occur visualize what you want see what you want and we as a group are mentally, emotionally, and spiritually connected. You are going to see, guys, that the wealth of the wicked will be transferred to the righteous. With that, I end this presentation. Have a fantastic day.